the night before the earthquake, she had a dream that really disturbed her. She wasn't entirely sure what it meant. She was building her own house, and she had built the walls up. She said, but the roof wasn't there, which is often a symbol of protection. And all around the outside of the house were, were people crowded all around. Suddenly there was an earthquake. I was washing dishes at the time. I told my husband that morning during the earthquake, maybe this is a sign that many people will die. I dreamt about it last night. Then about one minute later, the earthquake stopped. So we went outside. Let's get out, let's get out. Then the seawater, which appeared like a huge dark wooden plank as tall as two coconut trees came. Where shall we go? Where shall we go? They all asked me. I became so confused. I said, this is the house of God. It is the house of God. Let's all go in. I prayed. I forgot I was a Muslim. I prayed like a Christian. I said, dear God, dear Lord, please protect us at this time. Do not destroy us, oh God. Do not be angry with us, oh God, oh God, forgive us. Forgive our sins. Lord Jesus, do not forsake me. Everyone was chanting, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Suddenly the water stopped, about one meter away. The water has stopped. We were all there crying, thanks to the Lord Jesus. Everyone believed that the Lord Jesus has saved us at that time. There is no one else to turn to but Him. As soon as the water receded, they went up onto the mountain. And when they came back down, all around the mosque were bodies everywhere. She said, and that's when I, I realized the, the full meaning of my dream, that the house wasn't ready. It didn't have a roof and no protection. It didn't have Jesus. And like in the days of Noah, everyone perished. So all those people around the house that wasn't ready perished. And then after she told the story later, she said, I don't know what to think because I had I had married a, a Muslim and so you know I had left the faith and and I didn't think God would care. And we were able to tell her in times of crisis, deep crisis, what's really in our heart shows up. And when the water was there, it was to Jesus that she prayed. Jesus chose to save those people for that testimony of that woman. I don't know what he intends, but he has moved in the lives of those people and the testimony is there.